Wagner attorney Stuart Erickson. Uh, what is evidence and how does that work in a, uh, in a case, criminal or civil? Uh, evidence is in Title 12 of the Oklahoma statutes, which are the law books. Uh, and just some of the highlights of evidence, of course, is relevance. Evidence has to be relevant. Uh, so in a criminal case, uh, you know, either side can't just, uh, you know, bring in whatever testimony they want or photographs they want. They have to be relevant, which is, the definition is, uh, evidence having any tendency to make the existence of any fact of consequence more probable or less probable than it would be without that evidence. So, again, evidence has to be relevant, like uh, eyewitness testimony of a crime scene or uh, photographs of a crime scene would obviously be relevant to determining what happened at that crime scene. So, uh, Usually, eyewitness testimony, photographic evidence, that's, that's, that's going to be relevant testimony. And irrelevant evidence or testimony is inadmissible. The, the judge or the court won't allow it. Now, of course, uh, sometimes that information can get in if the other attorney doesn't object, but that's part of the attorney's job is to uh, have a fear, free and fair trial and object to evidence that's not relevant. So that's when you hear objections and attorneys sometimes will stand up and say objection relevance. And then the judge will decide, huh, is that evidence relevant or not? And if it's not relevant, it will not be uh, admissible and the witness uh, who is about to testify to something will not say it. It will not come in and the case will move on without that evidence. Uh, hearsay is another uh, big evidence uh, or trial matter and hearsay is basically a statement made by someone else about an event uh, that another person tries to bring into court. So if I'm a witness in court and say, hey, I talked to Joe Smith, uh, Joe Smith said he was there and he saw uh, Jim punch Steve in the face. Um, well, you know, that's hearsay because I'm saying what somebody else said. Uh, that person who was the actual eyewitness, they have to come into court to testify and they have to say what they saw under oath. Anything else would be hearsay, uh, and that is not admissible. You'll, you'll see attorneys all day long stand up and say, objection, hearsay, because many witnesses will, will start to try to say what other people have told them, and that is simply irrelevant. Uh, and that gets me into a question that a lot of people ask about witnesses is uh, affidavits, because sometimes witnesses can't come to court, don't want to come to court, but, but they'll write a statement and, you know, an affidavit a sworn statement and they'll just say, hey, just, just give this to the judge, give this to the jury. And that doesn't work, that'd be hearsay because it's a statement out of court uh, that's trying to come into court without that person testifying to it. Uh, and of course, in criminal and civil cases, you know, those witnesses have to be cross-examined. It can't just be a one-sided statement with them not there uh, in the courtroom. That would be hearsay, inadmissible, and is not gonna get in. So getting somebody to sign an affidavit you know, is not going to cut it for the, for the most case. Their witnesses, they would have to come into court, uh, raise their right hand, testify uh, in court. So that's basically some of the main, main issues that come up a lot with evidence and, and questions that people have about uh, their hearings or their trials and, and what can come in to the trial and what can't come in. So uh, if you have more questions, uh, I am Stuart Erickson, Wagner attorney. Uh, reach out at wagnerlawyer.com.